Hey there, how's it going? If we haven't met yet, my name is B and I love to code the heck out of Squarespace. And for today's video, I have a really cool CSS trick that I want to share with you. It's actually one of my favorites and it's going to help you create really responsive text in your client projects. Now, the great thing about today's trick is that it's actually something that is going to help you avoid using media queries at all. And it only involves one line of code. So let's go ahead and get started so I can show you how you can use it. All right, so here I have a 7.1 site that I'm gonna be working on, but this customization is something that you can apply to 7.0 as well. Now for this tutorial, I'm gonna be working with this H1 that I have over here, but keep in mind that this is something that you can apply to pretty much anything that is text-based on your website. So what we're gonna be using to be able to achieve super responsive text is actually a function called clamp. Now this is going to make a lot more sense once we hop into the code, so let's go ahead and do that. The first thing that you need to keep in mind about clamp is that this is usually used when what you're trying to do is keep the font responsive based on the viewport width. So the problem with using viewport width values when you're trying to make text responsive is that sometimes it can get either too big or too small. So let me show you what I mean. If I were to target this text that I have in here through its H1 element type here, just to keep things simple, and then set up here a font size that is going to be something like 10 viewport width maybe, or maybe a little bit bigger than that, something like 12 viewport width. So if I wanted to make the text really bold like this, at this point, this looks pretty good, right? But then if I go ahead and open this up, you're gonna see how because the font keeps getting bigger because the viewport got bigger, it doesn't look as good as it did before. Now, of course, the solution here would be to continue to play with the viewport width at this point to achieve the font size that you want. But then if you start shrinking things down, it may be possible that at some specific point, you don't want the font size to be this big. You actually want it to continue to be bigger here, and that's not really happening. So that would mean that you would need to increase the font size in here to be able to achieve the size that you want at let's say around this point so let's say that here you want font to be a little bit bigger maybe i don't know like 18 viewport width okay that's a little bit too big there maybe something like 15 viewport width at this point like that looks really cool on tablet sizes right but then of course if i go all the way up again then we're going to have the problem that the font is too big at this screen size and then of course if i collapse the panel there this just becomes even bigger and then if I go all the way down to mobile, maybe this is not the size that you want for your font. Maybe you want something that is bigger than this or smaller than this. And so the problem is that you're gonna have to continue to play around with that viewport width value to make sure that everything looks good at all times. And that can become really difficult. Now, of course, this is not something that happens on all projects, but it can definitely be a problem for those projects where you're using really bold fonts for hero areas and things like that. So here is where clamp comes in. So with clamp, you're not only going to have this sort of flexibility for the text to shrink down or expand up depending on the viewport width, but you're also going to be able to set limits to that growth and that shrinkage so that you're able to control how small and how big that font can actually get at the extremes. So let's go ahead and take this step by step. So let's say that we want that font size, like the ideal font size to be 15 viewport width, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick note here. So this is going to be the ideal font size, ideal, there we go. I'm gonna set this to 15 viewport width so that we can remember what number we were using. So let's say that at this point, we don't want the font to be this small. We actually want it to be bigger because again, we're working with really bold text. So let's go ahead and change this. And instead of using viewport width, we can use here rems, ems, pixels, anything like that. It can be viewport width as well, but it's usually easier to work with one of the other units. So let's just go ahead and set this to maybe like 50 pixels. That's actually too small. Um, let's go with like 90 pixels. That's a little bit too big. <laughs> so you can go ahead and play around with this depending on how you big, um, how big you want the text to be. So in this situation, I think like 70 pixels is actually pretty good for the screen size. Again, because I'm looking to create really bold text. So 70 pixels is going to be the minimum font size that I want this text to have. And now, of course, if I were to look at this on desktop, this is ridiculously small for this. So this is going to be our minimum size. So let's just go ahead and add in here min 70 pixels so that we can remember. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our desktop. So here, if we start with 15 viewport width, which is our ideal size, 
we can see that at this point this is way too big and of course if we go all the way out here and we collapse that panel this is ridiculously big so what we can do here is set an upper limit so let's say that we don't want the font size to go beyond i don't know here we can just try it out maybe like 300 pixels okay that's still a little bit too big uh something like 280 260. all right that seems to look pretty good at this point let's just go ahead and save this and of course now if i open this up because right now i'm using a fixed pixel size this is not really going to change so this is going to be the maximum size that this font is going to have or that this text is going to have which personally i think it looks really good so that is going to be our max value 260 pixels and so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in that clamp function so that we can use those three numbers in there so that our browser understands that the font cannot get smaller than 70 pixels. It cannot go bigger than 260 pixels, but in that in between, it can be 15 viewport width. So let's just go ahead and use that in here clamp. Then first we need to set the minimum value. So that it's going to be 70 pixels. Then we need to set our ideal value that is going to be 15 viewport width. And then we need to set that maximum value, which is going to be 260 pixels. And once we have that in place, you can see how the font became really big right now, but it's not going over the 260 pixel width so or pixel size. So here, if I open this up, you can see how the font remains in that really lovely size that we have, but it's not becoming bigger than that. And now if we shrink things down, you're going to see how the font actually starts reducing a little bit because it's maintaining that 15 viewport width size at all times until it reaches the minimum, which is going to be that 70 pixels. And so the font is not going to get smaller than that. So you can see how without having to use any sort of media queries whatsoever, we're able to control the font size at all times in a really responsive way. So like I said, you may not need to do this on all of your projects, but especially for those that really require bold fonts and bold text, this can come in really handy because you're not going to have to write any media queries at all. And then in one single line of code, you're going to be able to control how your font looks like on all devices. All right. And there you have it. I really hope that you enjoyed today's short CSS trick. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, letting me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see in a future tutorial, and I will see you next time.